I want to make those bastards pay. We'll speak in private. I said in private. Come on. I said in private. Come on. This might get any worse. Can we get this over with quickly? You wanted to see me? Happy to see you, Caleb. We don't usually let anybody down here, but I can bend the rules for you. To what do I owe this honor? I need you. Something's come up. On the night of the attack, someone sent a message to an unauthorized recipient. Do you know who it was? Not now, but I will soon enough. Otherwise... The prince will have my head. Caleb, I need your help. I get the feeling that it's all connected. It's too huge to be a coincidence. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Jara Drory. It's easy to accuse someone who's not here to defend herself. Yes. And I might have it all wrong, but I wouldn't accuse her unless I had serious doubts. Think it through carefully. For starters, she's one of the few who knows how the system works. She'd be able to cover her tracks, wouldn't she? Maybe, but maybe she made a mistake. According to our intel, Jara may have been captured. <laughs> she was caught in her own trap. Anyways, nothing concrete. Just a hunch, if you want to call it that. In my place, under the current circumstances, I can't really go poking my nose in her business. And I can. Nobody will bother you. I'm not asking for much. Just take a look in Jara's room to see if you can find anything that ties her to any of this. And if you could do it Quickly. Why? Because I'm about to erase a ton of data. It's the Code Red protocol. And since Jara vanished, the Prince wants her personal data to disappear along with her. That doesn't give us much time. You in? I could maybe go and take a look around. Great. I found a key to her room. Take it. Thanks. It's our last chance to recover the data from Jara Drury's computer before everything disappears for good. Just insert this thumb drive and it will download everything I need. If she betrayed us, I'll know. Fine. I'll go see what I can find. Thanks. One last thing. Uh-huh. If you could keep this just between you and me. Fine. And don't come back to see me here. It's supposed to be sealed. It'll look suspicious. I'll send in an engineer after you. Give him the drive when you're done, but don't tell him anything. We have to keep this between us. As you wish.
There's no point in insisting. The prince didn't ask you for your opinion. Hazel can't just ignore me and then call me in like this. Now get out of here before I make your blood boil. Mr. Siaka, you're taking a big risk. Goodbye. Asshole. Let's see if Caius was right. has always been wary of new technology. I hope Caius will be able to use what's on this thumb drive. This lock would be at home in the highest security bank. Jara never did trust anyone. It appears that this place was hidden with an illusion. Hmm, it's not like Jara to let that kind of thing wear off. Jara always was old fashioned. Whatever's in this box must be important. Jara was conducting her own investigation. There is no way Kaius would be expecting that. It appears Kaius was wrong. He and Jara may have been looking for the same individual. I think that's everything. Now it's Caius's turn. Hello, Mr. Vizorin. Mr. Lido asked me to wait until you were done. He also told me you'd have something for me. Here it is. Give it to him and him alone. 
And don't ask any questions. I get it. Are you done here? You may proceed. Thanks. I hope Caius knows what he's doing. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. I won't make her wait. <laughs> 